so hard to make a video when like someone crosses by who can actually speak English and looking at you talk in front of the camera. That's so weird. Hey everyone, Kadai in Tokyo here, and I always had this goal of being this friend that you can count on when you're in Tokyo. A friend who can basically recommend you places to go into without having to search through Google and ponder about did you actually make a good life decision and have no regrets? Not even a single letter? That's my credo. No regrets. Mm -hmm. Today I'm here in Asakusa aka my spot, the mecca of Tokyo tourism to show you guys places that I would check out if I were you. Asakusa is one of the more popular spots in Tokyo, with the iconic Kaminari Mon Gate where people take a lot of selfies, strolling to Nakamise Dori to conveniently sample some street food that would eventually lead you towards the Sensoji Temple. Okay, Asakusa fun fact, did you guys actually know that Sensoji Temple is actually the oldest temple in Tokyo? So it was actually made around 645 AD, but I know of course it has gone through some maintenances and renovations and whatnot, but since then it's still standing strong and trust me, it's fucking old. The first one we are going to check out is the conveniently located Asakusa Tori Yoshi. It is 5 minutes away from the Kaminarumon gate by foot. It is one of the better places in Asakusa where you can enjoy Oyakudon for a reasonable price. The ambience inside the two-floor restaurant during lunchtime is pretty chill. Japanese people do not really like to talk during lunchtime, which is actually good because you're here for the food. They serve probably one of the best roasted green tea around town. And that's just the start. The oyakodon costs around 1,000 yen for a set that consists of an underwhelming salad, a chicken stock based soup, and of course, the oyakodon. Never mind that pickles. It says over here that in order to have a balance of the rice and everything, you're supposed to eat it with a spoon. It's so inconvenient to eat it with a chopstick anyway, so might as well use a spoon. So if you guys didn't know, oyakodon actually means parent and child donburi or chicken and eggs because that's what it's made of, which is kind of weird if you think of it, but nonetheless, it's really, really good. So just the chicken and there's some eggs over there. And like, and here's the rice that I'm talking about a while ago, so there has to be like a good balance of the tree. Anyways, itadakimasu. This is so good. Before I continue eating, I want to actually give you guys a rundown history as to how Oyakodon came to be. So it's a dish um, first created by this restaurant in Ningyocho called Tamahide which is running for around 230 years already and they are the first ones who actually came with the idea of oyakudon having the chicken and eggs together in like some sort of mirin soy sauce combination and since then it's actually been a hit you know it's been everywhere it's really really good that's the thing the second on my list is a place that's quite hidden in the limelight of the ever so popular nakamise dori Named after the temple beside it, Dempoi Dori has artworks on their garage doors. So if you want an Instagram photo of these bad boys, you should come here early and maybe do a cartwheel. So for those of you who just want to roam around Asakusa and Nakamise Dori, there are also options for you as well. So if you take a sharp left, there's actually this street over here called the Dentoin Dori, very cultural place. So the place right behind me is actually called the Asakusa Menchi and it's a Menchi Semonten, so they only sell one kind of thing in here which is called the menchikatsu or the asakusa menchi so they sell it for 200 yen and it's really good value for money and it's kind of heavy and it has meat onions in it and it's supposed to be really good so they deep fry it as you buy it so it's actually pretty warm right now so it's very hot wow it's so good there's actually a lot of onions and meat in it and it's so juicy as you see a while ago i just had my oyakudon but this is so good i might actually just eat it all <laughs> oh man now I need beer and some culture. Now I know there are a lot of places in Nakamise Dori and Asakusa that's actually really good or good enough. But this place over here is actually missed by a lot of foreigners in Asakusa. So this place over here is actually called Gekatsudo and they serve melon pan amongst other sweets. But melon pan is their main dish and we're gonna check this place out because it's actually really really good. And my camera cuts off. But the melon pan itself was actually really, really good. It's not too sweet, just like the melon pants in the convenience store. And what was new for me was the melon pan itself was really, really airy. But I thought about it long and hard. It's probably the fact that it's because they also have ice cream sandwiches on melon pants. Hit two burns with one stone, eh? Say no to animal violence. Yo, this pigeon got grew! Okay, moving on. 
Arguably the easiest to locate in my list is Gyukatsu, also conveniently located near the Kaminarimon gate just like the Asakusa Toriyoshi. Gyukatsu is also the most popular in this list, and it's for a good reason. The meat itself is actually top notch. Using what clearly is marbled meat, it is like no other. So what I love about Yukatsu is the fact that they actually use barley rice. So barley is very rich in antioxidants and it's very healthy but it has gluten. For those who are in a gluten-free diet, this is not for you. I'm very sorry. But the meat is really good. You can just have meat with no rice. Either way, you're fine. Also, I did forget to mention, one thing I really love about your katsu is the experience itself. Because the fact that you actually pick the katsu with your chopsticks and you put it in a teppan, which is actually really, really good. You don't experience that anywhere. For 10 bucks, it's actually worth it. Okay, last place, last place. Who actually doesn't want to end their day with something sweet. So right in front of me right now is actually this place called Asakusa silk pudding which you probably won't understand the name until you actually tasted the pudding because it's silk so we're gonna check this place right now to figure it out if you have a sweet tooth for pudding you are in a tree a success silk pudding has a lot of flavors for you to choose from and the possibilities are endless the clerk recommended me with the Asakusa premium pudding which is their number one seller and it was really good So here we go, we have this thing that they recommended to us called the Asakusa Standard Pudding, I guess it's what it's called. And yeah, it comes with a good packaging. It's actually made of glass. But of course you have to actually return the glass or else I guess you have to pay for it or something. You see how Japanese people are so delicate with their packaging because you got the glass and you have this plastic cup thing that you just open. They actually have a lot of varieties of pudding which you can actually choose from. Just as a store clerk, ask for the recommendation. Don't be afraid to buy it because it's really, really good. <sighs> there you have it, folks. I hope I have helped you struggle less in finding good food in Asakusa. But if you want more options, definitely check this video out where Angela explores street food in Asakusa. In any way, like this video if I help, subs if you love it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!